Hello everyone, welcome to part 37 of Laravel 10 series in which we are first creating the admin panel and now we are creating the e-commerce admin panel in Laravel 10. Okay, so we are adding the e-commerce related modules and first module that is the categories modules. We have started with the categories module. Okay, so uh, in the last few videos we were able to show the categories in the admin panel. We have added some of the uh, some of the categories with the help of Cedar and we were able to show in the end panel and you can see here uh, here you can see that we have added the categories and products in the catalogs and here you can see the two uh, headings we have added so far settings as well as the catalogs and in under under catalogs we have added the categories and products that are the part of the e-commerce module all these earlier modules we have done for the basic admin panel that you can use for the any website so now we able to display these categories in admin panel also along with active inactive and lead functionality that we have done okay so now we are going to work on the add edit category functionality okay and in this video we are going to create the add edit category form okay so let's start first of all here we will add the add category button okay in the categories.blade.php file so i'm going to open categories.blade.php and here after this categories i am going to add here uh, the uh, button for the add category like we have added for the uh, cms pages module as well so we can simply copy that button from here see uh, here you can see the edit ss full ss that is the part of the rows and permission that we are going to do later on okay but right now we will just copy this one and we'll make changes here it will come like add edit category and here we are going to add the add category i want to tell you that uh, this, we are going to create the common page for adding and editing of the category in the same way like we have done with the uh, cms module okay if you can see the cms module you can uh, check the cms pages here you can see in the case of add edit cms here you can see the page name is the add hyphen edit hyphen cms hyphen page and if you are going to uh, edit something edit any page just the id will go in that particular uh, page name okay page url uh, see if i click on edit here you can see just the addition is the one id is gone so our same route is working for both so in the same way we are going to do for the categories as well add and edit both will work with the same route and form will be same page name will be same just the difference is we are going to send the id category id in case of edit and in case of add we are not going to send any category id so this is the only difference so here we are not sending any category id because here this is the add category functionality we are going to do the add category so we are going to open this add edit category form okay though we are going to open the add edit uh, um, category form but its uh, functionality we are going to work on the add category functionality okay so now uh, we are going to uh, create the page for add edit category but first of all we will create the route as well so here after this i am going to create the same route for both add and edit like i have explained you match get post both will work for this one and here uh, we're going to add edit category okay so here uh, see uh, here the thing is uh, in the case of edit we will send the id so here the id may come or may not come so it will come like this and now category controller here add edit category fine so add edit category we are going to add under category controller 
okay so this function we are going to add under category controller okay so here we are going to add public function add edit category okay so right now we will add it like this and here if uh, dollar id is, is equal to empty there is no id to so it means it is add category form okay we are going to work on the add category add category okay so here title will be add category okay so in case of edit else in case of edit uh, uh, it will be edit category okay title will be edit category okay so in case of edit it will be edit category so here also we are going to pass the dollar id equal to null it may come or may not come uh, okay so we will add here dollar id equal to null so maybe it will come or not come and also we are going to add the request dollar request in case of post when we will up add or edit the category then uh, we are going to uh, accept that request and will uh, save that in our category table okay either add or update okay so here right now this is not used we are going to just uh, going to use the return view okay with the title uh, admin dot categories uh, we are going to create the categories folder under admin and uh, yeah we are already having the uh, ha having the category folder under admin okay add edit category this file we are going to create with compact title okay title we are going to send okay so this uh, page we are going to create add underscore edit underscore category so what we are going to do uh, here this is our product 10 resources views admin categories here we are already having so i'm going to create the new file in mac we need to create the file like this new terminal folder touch uh, add underscore edit underscore category dot blade dot php okay if you're in windows you know how to add the file you can go inside the folder and can create the new file okay uh, add edit underscore category dot blade dot php file i'm going to open this file here add edit category okay so we can copy the admin design from some other file like cms page uh, we have done earlier so i'm going to copy this all and we'll paste here and then we'll make changes okay so title uh, will remain the same here it will automatically come from the function and here in the in place of cms form i am going to make it like category form okay uh, so here i'm going to make like category form and here uh, in case of dollar uh, cms page uh, i am going to replace it with the category okay everywhere okay though this uh, uh, i think we need to uh, update later on but uh, right now uh, uh, we can either keep or not okay it's your choice okay the things that we are required to update here we are going to make the category uh, name that is the first thing that we want here category name okay so in category name so here uh, we are going to update uh, this thing i'm going to do one thing here like this so i'm going to update this one title to the category name uh, but right now we will no, oh, not work on the edit so i'm going to remove this one right now okay we will just keep it like this uh, for working for the add only enter category name here like this okay after category name uh, we are going to have the category image as well i am going to copy this and will paste here and here i am going to make it category image and here uh, everything i am going to replace this all with the category image here uh, okay category image and here enter category image this is not required in case of uh, uh, here uh, we are going to make it type file okay in case of image we are going to make it type file other than this uh, i don't think anything else is required okay so after this uh, we are going to add the uh, category uh, uh, category discount okay category discount we are going to add here 
okay so i am going to replace it with the category discount i am going to choose this two like category discount okay so here also i am going to make it like the category discount for these three fields category discount like this okay so other than this category discount category discount uh, and the category discount it seems to be fine okay it's done now the next one is the category url okay we are going to add here the category url okay so here uh, here we are going to uh, we can keep it url or category url it's your choice okay uh, so we will keep it as url and make sure here also we are going to change category url okay so now uh, after this uh, category description here also we can add the category description okay uh, and here uh, the description will come anything else enter description this one is not required at this time okay uh, so it seems to be fine enter category description here okay so now after this meta title uh, okay meta title meta uh, meta description okay everything we are going to keep it like this meta description as well as the meta keywords okay so this one fine so uh, our add category form is ready i think we have we able to add all the fields we can match with the category table as well also we are required to open it so that we can check uh, which fields are there i am going to open the uh, here project 10 that we are doing in laravel 10 okay so categories so i'm going to compare it uh, like category name see parent id that we are going to work on the category level later on okay uh, but right now category name uh, category image category discount category description url meta title meta keyword meta description everything seems to be perfect okay so now uh, our add category form is ready uh, now we are going to check once okay uh, its view we are going to check let's see our add category form is ready or not i am going to click on add category and here some issue is coming in uh, route i am going to check the route here uh, okay get and post both and after that we need to close this square bracket i think that may be the issue I'm going to refresh and still there is issue uh, add edit category is fine category controller add edit category here uh, this is not required at last okay now it seems to be fine okay so now you can see our add edit category form add add category form basically is uh, running fine now okay you can see the category name category image category discount category url category description meta title meta description and meta keywords okay so all the fields are seem to be fine uh, we can compare with the uh, add cms page design that uh, it seems to be perfect or not here also uh, we have done in the same way so it is fine okay so in the next video we are going to work on the submission of the category and will insert that in the categories table okay so uh, wait for the next video we are also going to save the image as well okay category image as well okay in the next video in the folder as well as the image name in the database uh, so we are going to see how we can able to save the category in the next video so please stay tuned for it that's all for now have a nice time goodbye